Welcome to Crema Media's Polity. I am Amy Witherden. I am at Intellectual Property Specialist Law Firm Spoor & Fisher to meet with partner Carl van Rooyen and discuss the commotion over the rights to the Vuvuzela. Carl, you say in a recent briefing paper that there is confusion over whether people can claim a trademark to the name Vuvuzela or claim rights to the product itself. What are the implications of each? Um, well, let's start with the trademark. Uh, a trademark you normally is an indication of, of ownership. It says a, a name, a logo, a color, a shape, a container, I regard as mine. I use that to distinguish my goods or services from that of another. That is normally the requirement for a trademark. When one, one refers to ownership in a product, one normally refers to either patent or the design. A patent is there to pr protect new inventions and a design to protect the look and feel of, of a product. And that's mainly the difference between the three. There have been numerous applications for a trademark on the Vuvuzela, all still pending. What is required to successfully claim a trademark? Well, first of all, it must meet this requirement of being able to distinguish your goods from, from goods of another. That's mm -hmm. the first requirement. And then secondly, you must be able to represent it this, this in a graphic format. That's for a trademark. Um, now, all of these applicants, uh, they are, in fact, there are 40 different applications for the Vuvuzela. 40. 40. Okay. All of them are saying exactly that. They're saying, I'm the owner, I'm using this or propose to use this to distinguish my goods from that of another. So what are the prospects for success in attempts to register a trademark for the Vuvuzela? my mind, it's highly unlikely. Um, the main reason for that is that there are three parties on paper now claiming that they've been using for at least 20 years. There's the, the church group that, who says they've been using since 1910. There's Mr. Market that says he's been using since 1970. And then there's a Mr. van Skalkweg that's been manufacturing since 2001. Now, it'd be very difficult for the registrar to determine who of those three groups are, in fact, the real owner of the trademark. But apart from that, and probably more important, is the fact that throughout South Africa, people are using Vuvuzela to describe the actual instrument. They're using it in a generic sense, which is an indication that no single party can claim rights of ownership to Vuvuzela. And I think that's the main problem in, in, in securing registration of the trademark. Is this a common problem? It's certainly not a common problem. Um, normally, someone will adopt a trademark to, to, to name uh, or distinguish his goods or services. This is, this is an example like Escalator. Escalator used to be a trademark. Um, it might be that in 1910, the church group was the owner of the trademark with Zilla, but eight years, or uh, no, almost 100 years later, um, I think it belongs to the people of South Africa. It's become too generic. Too generic, yes. So while the issue of a legal trademark is still unresolved, can anyone claim a common law proprietorship of the Vuvuzela? No, not, not in these circumstances. Um, common law proprietorship of a trademark works on the basis that you don't claim rights to the trademark as such. You claim rights to the goodwill in relation to which you are using the trademark. Now, let's go back to the, the church group they've been using since 1910, or so they say. So they might have been able to say, listen, we've been using it for 100 years, and people associate with Vuvuzela exclusively with us. But factually, we, we know that's not the case. Mr. Marke, the guy that's been blowing the, the Vuvuzela since the 1990s, if you were able to show that people associate the name Vuvuzela exclusively with him, he might have been the common law owner. But factually, it would appear not to be the case. So I think it's highly unlikely that they'll be able to show common law rights in, in the Vuvuzela trademark. So do you think this issue will be resolved before the World Cup? Certainly not. Certainly not. Um, there's one application for Vuvuzela that has been accepted by the Registrar of Trademarks. Um, that is the one of Mr. van Skalkweg. That trademark is under opposition. Uh, one of these parties are opposing that. Um, the process is just very slow. I expect that will only be resolved probably in you know, two or three years' time after the World Cup. And I suspect that after the World Cup, the parties will actually lose interest in the Vuvuzela trademark. Yeah. Now, if one just thinks, if, if Mr. van Skalkweg, for example, and his company were to be the owners of the Vuvuzela trademark, they would be able to stop any party from in South Africa from using that trademark in relation to that musical instrument. Mm. Uh, that's not coming from them. So that will make it very difficult for the people of South Africa to use Vuvuzela in its generic sense to describe the, the instrument. Mm. It's too far spread now for Absolutely, that yeah. to happen. Great. Thank you, Carl.